and welcome back to Magpie. Now this demonstration here is going to show uh, as much as a real life situation as possible. So uh, I have a customer and they have a CSV file which they have gotten from their supplier and in this case they uh, are listed here and there are I think it's 5,000 just check it 5,000 yes 5,443 uh, rows in this uh, CSV file now what what we will notice here that, that some of these uh, rows here are actually the same but have different variations so the thing is that depending on what kind of CSV file you get from your supplier or you have uh, on your own system, you might have to adjust them a little bit. Now in the case uh, where you have the same product listed here, this is called redundancy and uh, is uh, a little bit uh, uh, should be avoided. But in any case, uh, when you have the SKU number, which is here uh, called code, um, right here, <coughs> uh, Magpie will uh, find this code and we'll do an update to uh, these four products uh, Lady Fancy and the next one so there are not 5,500 products here there are maybe only uh, not half maybe even less than, than half maybe only 1,000 I haven't counted them but once we do the uh, import we will see what Magpie reports back and how many um, products are inserted so up here we have category name, field names, product, uh, and from the supplier, this product field name is actually the, the product name. So you might have to go over these and just check with your supplier what these fields actually are. But in the most uh, in the mo in the most situations, you should uh, uh, figure it out. Now there's a mapping si system inside Magpie where you can map these, so you can map the, the category here to. VPSC uh, product category and I will show you this when we get to it but to make life a little more easy you can uh, change these up here or do a copy paste or whatever is, is the best for you now you see I prepared over here a little uh, file <clears throat> and up here I've changed the product category to VPSC product category for, because that's the name and the post title which was before called here the, the product so uh, those I do not use I, I just keep uh, and, and leave as they are uh, and um, so I will show you the mapping uh, also but this is actually for a video all by itself so what I will just do here I will just uh, paste this in and uh, all the uh, Field names are, are now uh, as uh, from this file here I prepared, so it's uh, a little more uh, quick here. So I will save this file now, and I should actually save it with a different name. So let's just uh, pop in here, yes, and select Save As, and we can call it Products Mapped Save. <coughs> yes. Okay, now this is the CSV file and I will cut the video now and uh, resume in uh, Magpie in uh, just a sec. Okay now, back here into Magpie's plugin and VP Commerce. Now just before we uh, cut this into three pieces, so we've got uh, in the CSV file we've got about 2,000 rows. Let's just see that, yes because of lim limitations in, in memory, either in WordPress or in uh, Apache, I'm not quite sure, but we can we will make a little frequently asked questions section just about this. So, now we're ready here to import, select CSV file, and uh, I've cut it in, in I'm going to cut and make another two files, but this is the first one, as you see, it's a little bit shorter here, it's about a third, and it's the one with 2,000 rows, and we will load that. Oh sorry that was wrong I should have clicked here right. Mm. <laughs> not we do not have a we do not have a um, 
we do not have CSV files online here, so we will load this one here, product map one. And it is connecting here to candles to glow.co.uk and this is uh, now ready here and it's mapped <clears throat> a little feature here and the latest version uh, okay now we're going to use the SKU number as a uh, key and update by that recall that in the let me just show you the, the CSV file here some of the products are actually the same and and they have the the, the, the same SKU number here let me if the SKU number is here let me just pop up to the top right SKU here yes you see here some they are the same so they will uh, they are, uh, will be updated by SKU and insert uh, well actually you see there are variations here so in this instant instance here we would have to reorganize the CSV file uh, to, to fit this, but, but I will come back to this uh, in a little while. Let's go back to MacPy here and do the import. Now, this is what we actually in, 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 uh, call uh, redundancy, because you should only have one product, right? And then you should have the, the, the variations and the price listed up here uh, as a field name. Uh, with uh, with the uh, with the the variation prices and and then uh, so that you would only have one line with one product but uh, up here have the the variations uh, taxonomy uh, field name uh, and the, the the variation in prices uh, listed uh, but I will have to come back to this uh, in a later demonstration right back to magpie here. And how is he doing? Okay, <laughs> while I'm talking, he is importing. Uh, and uh, it's now inserted 220, 250. And all I can do now is just leave you to enjoy this. And uh, and we will just wait a little, little bit here. It's 2,000 product, remember, and it's doing it in bulks of 25 communicating with the server in England. And I'm in in Asia here, so um, <clears throat> it, the communication with the server is, is, is slow, uh, it's, it's over the internet, so if you were working on your own server uh, and you had your own infrastructure, uh, the communication with the server would be very fast and insertion here would like be like a rocket or like a magpie. Uh, so uh, we will um, uh, I will pause uh, this video here while he he uh, resumes, and I will uh, come back just when he is uh, around 1995. Okay, now we're resuming here, and we are now at 95 percent, and uh, Magpie has gone through 1,975 uh, lines here, and just about to finish there, yes. Okay, 2,000 rows has now been um, uh, updated or inserted rather, uh, or updated accordingly depending on if the SKU number in the CSV file is the same. Now, there are some uh, duplicates which we will see down here because uh, there are uh, inserted or imported 977 products. And uh, we do get some unknowns here, but we will come back to this just in a little uh, while here. So we should have some products inserted here and some are updated depending on that CSV file because some of the SKU numbers are the same. So let's go up to products here. And we have 977 products inserted with the name and we will just click one now there's no image here I will come back to this uh, uh, soon here just uh, just uh, show you and demonstrate demonstrate for you how to get the products in and the image I will deal with that uh, soon here yes and we are loading here okay the uh, title up here and 
down here and as you will notice there are some double quotes here we will also deal with that later all depending on the csv file and its content and its format and it has uh, inserted into the product here and we've got the price so everything is looking okay here uh, let's go back here to product listings and again 977 here and they're published so actually they should now be online uh, if the system here we're running on a test uh, test environment here uh, and um, right okay so um, Magpie did this in, oh I forgot to see the time actually, maybe we can just uh, go back here. Uh, does, and uh, we have a little, yes, no, there's no prompting of, of, um, of well there was before, but I think it took about maybe five minutes to import these, or to go through these 2000 lines. So that's pretty quick. Okay, right, next step is to get some images in, so I shall, um, uh, prepare this and be back in just a tick.